हरे कृष्ण जय जय श्री चैतन्य जय निनंद जय अद्वैत चंद्र जय गौर भक्त वृंद जय जय श्री चैतन्य जय निनंद जय अद्वैत चंद्र जय गौर भक्त वृंद जय जय श्री चैतन्य जय निनंद जय अद्वैत चंद्र जय गौर भक्त वृंद we continue reading from shri chaitanya charita amrita we are on chapter 6 reading the glories of advaita acharya and text 42 we were reading the purport mishla prabhupad for text 42 i'll just quickly read the translation shri advaita acharya however considers lord chaitanya mahaprabhu his master and he thinks of himself as a servant of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu so we read yesterday that how in bhakti rasamrit sindhu shila rupa goswami is saying that the pleasure derived from pure devotional service hmm, can't be compared to an atom uh, the the pleasure derived from pure devotional service can't be even compared to the pleasure which is derived from the brahman platform that pleasure already is very great it's a very great pleasure if you times it by a billion times it cannot give as much pleasure as a uh, devotional service so that is the uh, uh, glory that's the glory of pure devotional service pure devotional service similarly the bhavarthika dipika states ियोसिटीमेंटलिबरेशन derived from hearing about the transcendental activities of the lord now devotional service begins by hearing just by hearing uh the transcendental activities of the lord huh? and those who take pleasure in hearing these topics of the supreme lord for them then the uh, then they don't care they don't care for um uh, what is that dharma artha kama moksha yeah dharma artha kama moksha why because they are experiencing already more happiness than they could experience in these four levels you know we are all pleasure seeking anandomaya abhyasa we are pleasure seeking so don't think that someone is going to give up pleasure no we are seeking more and more pleasure so why is a pure devotee able to not care about these things why because he is experiencing higher pleasure pure devotee he is already experiencing the pleasure of liberation because pure devotional service begins from the liberated platform he is already liberated and at the point of liberation he is enjoying to he's relishing relishing just now as you were saying right relishing the past times of the supreme lord any more than a stroke to the happiness derived from hearing about the transcendental activities of the lord so those who engage in the transcendental service of the lotus feet of krishna being relieved of all material enjoyment have no attraction to topics of impersonal monism so the pure devotee the pure devotee what are they ears searching for just hearing about the transcendental activities of the supreme lord they have no more material desires no more material desires so they are already on the liberated platform and their attraction is just to hear the transcendental topic of lord krishna as we can we have a good examples of the four kumaras they were brahmavadis they were already on brahman realized they were already experienced the happiness of being situated in the brahman platform but they got attracted to the supreme lord they found higher pleasure there in the company when they saw the supreme lord 
Sukadev Goswami, he is a Brahman realized. He's uh, already on the Brahma Bhuta platform, liberated. As soon as he heard the topics of Lord Krishna, he got attracted and he's, he was hearing and chanting the glories of Srimad Bhagavatam. So this is the super excellent position of devotional service, of hearing and chanting the glories of the Supreme Lord, because it gives the soul that, that happiness that the soul is seeking. We are all seeking pleasure. Huh? And what are we actually seeking is to hear and to speak the glories of the Lord. And because we are not doing that, we feel um, all the miseries, the pangs of miseries. Because we say, why should I speak and chant the glories of the Lord? Everyone should speak and chant my glories instead. And I should also chant and speak my own glories. Huh? So we are doing that. But in the bargain, what we are getting? More and more miserable. If we just change that to hearing and speaking of the glories of the Lord, we will experience the highest bliss. In the Padma Puran, in connection with the glorification of the month of Karthik, it is stated that devotees pray. So Padma Puran. Padma Puran is saying about the Kartik month, the glories of Kartik. Varam deva moksha na moksha vadim va na chanyam rene aham varesha dapiha idam te vapurna thagopala balam sadame manase avirastam kim anye. So this is uh, the, the prayer that we sing every day. This is every day we are singing this prayer in the month of Karthi. This prayer is coming from Padma Puran. Dear Lord, always remembering your childhood pastimes as at Vrindavan is better for us than aspiring to merge in the impersonal Brahman. During your childhood pastimes, you liberated the two sons of Kubera and made them great devotees of your Lordship. Similarly, I wish that instead of giving me liberation, you may award me such devotion unto you. So when a devotee is saying, instead of giving me liberation, you award me such devotion unto you, then what is that? The devotion means already the soul is liberated. You see, because pure devotional service begins from the liberated platform. So a devotee is asking more than liberation, not only liberation, because he's, he knows that pure devotion begins from the liberated platform. Yeah? So in the Haya Shirshiya Shri Narayana Vyuhastava, in the chapter called Narayan Stotra, it is stated, na dharmam kamam artham va moksham va varadeshvara parthaye tava padabje dasyam eva bhikamaye. My dear Lord, I do not wish to become a man of religion, or a master of economic development or sense gratification, nor do I wish for liberation. Although I can have all these from you, the supreme bestow of benedictions, I do not pray for any of these. I simply pray that I may always be engaged as a servant of your Lord's faith. So this is coming from Narayana Stotra. It's a Narayana Stotra, which is in the Haya Shirshaya Sri Narayan Vyuha Stava. So in this Narayan Stotra, what is the devotee saying? The devotee is saying, you kindly give me uh, devotion. I want to be engaged in the service of your lotus feet. So this is the highest position. It's higher than economic development, religion, sense gratification, even liberation. The, the, the pure devotee is already liberated if he is serving the Supreme Lord, you know? If someone is serving God, then he's already liberated. And this is what the devotee is praying for. Then I don't want all these lower things. I want this highest thing, to be with you. My dear Lord, I want to be with you. 
I simply pray that I may always be engaged as a servant of your lotus feet. Nishima, they've offered Prahlad Maharaj all kinds of benedictions, but Prahlad Maharaj did not accept any of them, for he simply wanted to engage in the service of the lotus feet of the Lord. Similarly, a pure devotee wishes to be blessed like Maharaj Prahlad by being thus endowed with devotional service. So when a pure devotee is engaging in devotional service, means he's already understood his position as the soul. He has already stopped thinking, I'm the body. He understands I'm not the body, I'm a spirit soul and my eternal relationship with God. Devotees also offer their respects to Hanuman, who always remained a servant of Lord Rama. The great devotee Hanuman prayed, Bhava Bandha Chide Tasya Sprahayami Namukta Ye Bhavan Prabhur Ahamdasa Iti Yatra Vilupyate. I do not wish to take liberation or to merge in the Brahman effulgence, where the conception of being a servant of the Lord is completely lost. So Hanumanji, uh, Hanumanji is praying this. Hanumanji is saying that I don't want to stay just sit in the Brahman effulgence. Why? Because over there, if I'm just sitting there, then how will I serve my Lord Ramachandra? I want to serve Lord Ramachandra. I don't want to just sit there thinking, yes, yes, I'm happy being a soul. I want to, I want to be with Lord Ramachandra. So a devotee is trying to show us the super excellent position of personal service to the Supreme Lord. Of, a, of being personally associating with the Supreme Lord. Yeah. So this is still there. I think we can finish what shall this we one. Do? Yeah, I think we can I'm finish sorry. this one. Finish it? Yeah, yes. I think we can finish this one. Okay. So Dharmartha Kama Mokshishu Necha Mama Kadachana Twatpada Pankaja Syado Jivitam Diyatam Mama. I do not want any of the four desirable stations. I simply want to engage as a servant of the lotus feet of the Lord. King Kola Shekhar in his very famous book, Mukandamala Stotra prays. So the Narad, Narad Pancharatra. Narad Pancharatra is also telling us that the position of pure devotional service is, is much higher, much, much higher than anything we could ever think of. Because why? That is our original position. That is the position of every living entity. So we don't need to get anything artificial. Just we want to be who we truly are. That's the point the poor, pure devotees are trying to tell us. So King Kula Shekhar, he, King Kula Shekhar, very famous king, very, very famous king, pure devotee in Mukundamala Stotra, he prays, Naham Mande Tava Charana Yor Dvandvam Advandva He Toho Kumbhi Pakam Gurum Api Hare Narakam Napanetum Ramya Rama Mridu Tanu Lata Nandane Nabhirantum Bhave Bhave Hridaya Bhavane Bhava Yeyam Bhavan Bhavantam My dear Lord, I do not wish you, I do not worship you to be liberated from this material entanglement. Nor do I wish to save myself from hellish condition of material existence. Nor do I ever pray for a beautiful wife to enjoy in a nice garden. I wish only that I may always be in full ecstasy with the pleasure of serving your Lordship. So, Maharaj Kula Shekhar, when he's saying, I just wish that I'll be in ecstasy of ple pleasure serving you. He's saying, I don't want a beautiful wife. I don't want uh, go. I'm not afraid that you'll send me to hell. I don't want liberation. I just want to be serving you. So that means what? It means he's in the spiritual world. It's, he's in the spiritual world. It's already liberated and higher than liberation. Why? He's already understood his own position, already understood his own position. What is his service to Krishna? What is his service to the Supreme Lord? As we said that, Jivera Swarupaya 
Krishnera Nityadas, the position of every soul, the dharma of every soul is to serve. So the devotees are praying, let me be engaged in my original position. In my original position. I don't want to become anyone else. I don't want anything. I don't want to become anything. I just want to be situated in my original position. That is serving your lotus feet. In Srimad Bhagavatam also, there are many instances in the third and fourth cantos in which the devotees pray to the Lord simply to be engaged in his service and nothing else. These are the references of Bhagavatam. Canto 3, 4, 15, 3, 25, 34, 3, 25, 36, 4, 8, 22, so this 3, 25, 34, 36, we just were reading recently, 25th chapter. Then in the fourth canto also, is there again. The prayers of the pure devotee to be engaged in the service of the Supreme Lord. So we'll stop here for today, for Chaitanya Charitamrita. Yeah. Any comments? No, this is just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. that how like everybody is asking only devotion on the lotus feet of Krishna they all want to serve and no matter what but yes due to our ignorance and illusion and not knowing how to actually pray to Krishna we were asking and we still ask I'm not saying that we don't but we still ask but we should try to you know, push ourselves to ask for devotion because he's the father and he will do everything for our good. How, how can we, like, you know, previously we couldn't relate and yes, when there were reversals and we used to say, okay, hai kya sab bas humko. but now we understand that, like my father, he used to scold me also sometimes, but that was for my good. And then he is the greater father and if he is giving me some reversal, that has to be for my good. That has to be. And if I can't see the good in it, I have to pray. Please help me see the good in it. Please. I'm not able to learn what you're trying to tell me. Please help me. Because it can never, never, ever be wrong. His plan can never be a failure, like what I always believe. that His plan is always perfect in a positive way. His plan is always perfect. For everyone, it's not only for me, but for every individual, every. Jai. Thank you. Jai. Chaitanya Charita Amrita ki, Jai Shla Prabhupada ki, Jai Gaur Bhakta Vrindhi ki, Jai Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.